Chapter 3, sample problem 2. Calculate the tension T in the cable which supports the 1000 pound load with the pulley arrangement shown in the picture. Find the magnitude of the total force on the bearing of pulley C. Each pulley is free to rotate about the bearing and the weight of all parts are small compared with the load. So at first we should write the, draw the free body diagram for each pulley in the arrangement. Consider the picture again here. We can start with pulley number pulley C. With the force. See, we choose the direction arbitrarily and we can recognize the sign after the calculation. The magnitude of T and TC. Pulley number C. If we make a sigma MC. We can calculate that T multiplied to R minus TC multiplied to R should be zero at equilibrium T equals to TC. Pulley number C for pulley B. We have two this forces T C T B one or T C equals to T in this section if we make a section here T C equals to T B one T C and T B T A Sigma M A equals to zero as a result T C equals to T B Sigma M Y Sigma F Y zero T C plus T B minus T A equals to zero. T A two T C and T C equals to T T A equals to two T the last the diagram is for pulley number A. One hundred pound. T A. Sigma F Y equals to zero T A plus T A two T A one hundred we know that T A was two T replacement to the Equation for T equals to 100 pound T equals to 1000 pound 250 pound 
the force requires to load the force 1000 pound B for the forces at pulley C we have a force T here a force T here C CX and CY the, the angle is 30 in this case we can make a relation for equilibrium the y direction t c goes 30 plus c y minus t equals to 0 c y equals to t minus t c goes 30 Sinus 30 is 1 second t minus t second pulse in the x direction sigma fx t Cosinus 30 T cosinus 30 Cx Hot The magnitude of C The magnitude of the force on pulley. The magnitude of force on the pulley. C.